hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today we are going to perform the upgrade on 4500 uh, switch um, and that will be on dual supervisor and uh, on my last video i explain you the process of performing the same upgrade where we require a downtime and where we have to reload the complete switch uh, so we require a downtime of uh, 10 to 15 minutes on that so today i'll explain you the process of upgrading the ios on the dual supervisor where we don't require a downtime okay and uh, let's get and started okay let's verify uh, the is version so we use the command show version here so this switch is running on 3.11.10e okay and you can see the version here okay after that uh, we have a supervisor which is 8e on that okay so it's a dual supervisor let's verify that using a command show module okay and where we can see we have two supervisors to create and both are running on 3.11.10e is version okay and uh, so the supervisor on module 3 is working as an active one and the module or the supervisor which is on module 4 is acting as a standby one okay and okay let's verify the is version so what we are going to do is we are going to upgrade the is from 3 11 10e to 3 11 9e which is basically a downgrade so the upgrade process will also work the same okay so as i have 9e version which is there on the means uh, on my storage on the switch which is on the boot flash so i'm going to proceed with the downgrade on to 3 11 9e okay so here we have the version 3 11 9e okay we'll use the command dir boot flash okay and we can see we have the image 3.11.9e here okay and uh, on the slave boot flash we have verified using the command AR slave boot flash and this 3.11.9e version is there on that okay so we have this image on both our uh, supervisors and uh, then we will go ahead and change the boot variable on these images so what we will do is uh, we'll use the no boot system change the command change uh, the boot variable to 31190 using the boot system boot flash and this is image okay and then we'll save it okay and after that we verified using show boot var okay and and uh, so you on the boot flash you you can see we have 3.11.90 image which is set and on this standby one we have 3.11.90 okay and then after uh, we have the configuration value which is already set and in case if you want to change it we have to go to config mode and change using the command config register 0x2102 okay and then we'll save it okay and after that we can verify our status of the supervisor okay and then we'll perform this redundancy reload pair command to switch over to the uh, standby supervisor okay so this command will reload the standby supervisor which is on module 4 okay and once the standby supervisor will reload it will really come up on the new ios which is 3.11.9e okay and this standby supervisor will become active okay and this one will become active okay and this active one will become standby okay to make i'm sorry this active one will not become standby until until and unless we run a command the command name is okay so let me explain you the process again okay so the process of uh, um, switching over um, the is version is so we will switch over to the standby one and the standby one will become active 
okay and this active one will become standby okay so this standby one will reload and become active on the new ios which is 311.9e okay and this active one will become will reload and will reload and become uh, available on 311.9e and will act as a standby supervisor okay this is how the thing will things will work okay and uh, so let's let's go ahead and do that just give me a moment so the command which we are going to use here is redundancy reload pair so this command will reload this standby supervisor okay and this supervisor will reload on 311 uh, 9e and will become the active one okay so i have reloaded that now let's verify that so under show module we will see only one module now one supervisor which is supervisor 3 not 4 okay you can see that this 4 is move into unknown state okay so we have to wait till the supervisor will come up okay and uh, let's wait for the device to come up okay uh, okay so the uh, supervisor was reloaded you can see it was showing in unknown state okay and then uh, it was moving to reload process and the supervisor 4 came back up after reload and during the process of reload I uh, have paused the video okay and you can see it is up on 311.9e okay and it is not in SSO but it is in RPR mode okay so the thing is uh, our services were running continuously there was no downtime okay it's just a switch over happened on a reload pro a reload thing and, uh, and the, the secondary or the standby supervisor is on the new iOS okay now we are going to switch over to this supervisor which is on 4 as the active one so this supervisor will become active and this active supervisor will re will reload which is on three module will reload and will come up as a standby one for that we have to use the command redundancy force switch over okay i hit enter and so you can see it has it is showing you this pop up um, this will reload the active unit and force switch over to a standby one okay so the active unit which is the active supervisor will reload and the standby one will be switch over and will become the active one i'll confirm okay preparing for switch over so it is going to switch over now okay uh, it's in process okay Okay, I do not have actually uh, the console of the standby supervisor, but you can see the this is the console of the active supervisor which is reloading right now, 
and uh, it has already switched over to the standby supervisor which was on module 4 okay now the module 4 one will will be active one again once this will come up uh, this uh, switch over will come up this uh, supervisor will come up after reload you will see it will be acting as a standby one okay okay now you can see it's been coming up so we got a pop-up that standby supervisor redundancy mode is SSO and continue booting up okay so this will uh, the supervisor this supervisor which is on module 3 will become standby now okay now you can see I will not be able to let me try to log in okay now you can see this is standby okay so the standby supervisor I won't be able to access it okay okay no commands will work on the standby one only the active supervisor will be working fine okay so this is how you can switch over um, your uh, iOS from the standby from the active to the standby one and the standby one will become active and the active one will become standby so in case um, so here the situation is the supervisor which is uh, this one so the supervisor which is on module 3 this will become standby now as I have console of this one only okay and the standby one will become active again okay, if you want to uh, reward means if you want to make sure this 3 one the module which is on the supervisor which is on module 3 will remain uh, means will remain active okay and want to keep the four uh, module 4 as a standby one you just need to run the same command again this command just run the same command again it will again switch over back to the previous state where uh, the mod the supervisor on module 3 will become the active one and the module or the supervisor on module 4 will become the standby one but the ios will remain the same the 31190 which is on the latest ios that will remain same okay so that's all for today and um, uh, so you can means uh, you can use this uh, thing in your production also and that doesn't impact your services okay and uh, so the whole switch over process uh, will take approximately uh, you can say a few seconds only okay hope you like this video um, hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you like my video if you have any queries just uh, put a comment on that and uh, um, okay i'll be happy to make more videos like this okay and um, I, I appreciate your uh, time and patience and thank you everyone thank you thank you for your uh, uh, support on this channel and uh, enjoy cheers bye bye